Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, array of uh, empty boxes, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the sum of these uh, two horizontal boxes uh, is equal to 9, and the sum of these uh, two bottom horizontal boxes uh, is equal to 7. And likewise, the product uh, of uh, these uh, two vertical boxes uh, is equal to 36. And finally, the difference uh, of these two boxes uh, is equal to 11. And now our task is uh, to fill these uh, empty boxes uh, with appropriate uh, values. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, these uh, boxes. I'm going to label this box uh, as lowercase uh, a, this box uh, lowercase b, this box uh, lowercase c, and finally this box uh, lowercase uh, d. And now our task is uh, to find the value of a, b, c, and uh, d. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and focus uh, on uh, these uh, boxes. And that is going to give us uh, A plus B equals to 9. As you can see over here, A plus B equals to 9. I'm going to call this equation uh, number 1. And now I'm going to focus uh, on these uh, vertical boxes on the left hand side. That is going to give us uh, A times uh, C equal to 36. So therefore I have copied down a times c equals to 36 and I'm going to call this our equation uh, number 2. And now let's focus on these two vertical boxes b minus uh, d equals to 11. As you can see over here in this equation b minus d equal to 11. Let me call this our equation uh, number 3. And finally, let's focus on these horizontal boxes C plus uh, D equals to 7. Let me write down C plus uh, D equal to 7. And here I have copied down C plus D equal to 7. I am going to call uh, this uh, equation uh, number 4. And now we can see we got a system of uh, 4 equations with 4 variables. And now we are going to solve for uh, A, B, c and uh, d and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation 2 a times c equal to 36 then uh, this could give us uh, a equal to 36 uh, divided by c and make sure c is not equal to 0 and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1 and here I have copied down this uh, equation 1, a plus b equals to 9. And we know our uh, a value is uh, over here 36 divided by c. So I'm going to replace this one over here, 36 uh, divided by c. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, a by 36 uh, divided by c. And now I'm going to move this uh, term 36 divided by c on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have moved uh, this uh, 36 uh, divided by c on the other side. And now I am going to label this our equation uh, number 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 3. And here I have copied down this uh, equation 3 over here. b minus d equals to 11. And now let's focus on b. And we know our b value from equation 5 is uh, 9 minus 36 divided by c. So therefore, I'm going to substitute uh, that value over here. 9 minus uh, 36 uh, divided by c over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, b by 9 minus 36 uh, divided by c. And now I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore, we are ended up with a negative 36 uh, divided by c minus uh, d equals to positive 2. And now I am going to multiply with the negative sign uh, across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation for c plus d equals to 7. Let me go ahead and move this uh, c to the right hand side. So therefore, uh, this equation could be written as uh, d equal to 7 minus uh, c. 
and now I am going to put this uh, d equal to 7 minus c value over here in this uh, equation. So I am going to substitute this value where d 7 uh, minus uh, c. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, d by 7 minus c over here. And now I am going to add 2 on both sides. This uh, negative 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore on the left hand side we got uh, 36 uh, divided by c plus uh, 9 uh, minus c equals to 0. Now I am going to remove this fraction by multiplying uh, by c with each and every term uh, across uh, the board. So therefore uh, this c and cancel c cancels out. So we got uh, 36 uh, plus uh, 9c minus uh, c square equal to 0. And now I am going to multiply with the negative sign across the board to make sure our c square has a positive sign. So therefore uh, this equation could be written as uh, c square minus uh, 9c minus uh, 36 uh, equal to 0. And here we got uh, this uh, quadratic equation c square minus 9c minus 36 uh, equal to 0 and we are going to solve it by grouping and uh, factoring. And by the way you may use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, constant 36. 36 could be broken down to 3 times uh, 12 isn't it? And now the difference uh, of 3 and 12 is going to give us uh, 9. So therefore let's focus uh, on this uh, middle term negative 9c. I can tweak this one uh, as uh, negative uh, 12c plus uh, 3c. As you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see c is in common between first two terms and uh, for these last two terms uh, 3 is in common. So therefore I can write uh, c outside c minus uh, 12 plus uh, 3 factored out c minus uh, 12 equal to 0 and now we can see c minus 12 and c minus 12 they are in common. So therefore we can factor out uh, c minus 12 and then times uh, c plus uh, 3 equal to 0. Let's uh, separate these factors. So therefore we are ended up with two values of c, c equals to positive 12 and c equals to negative 3. So therefore I have uh, replaced uh, this uh, c box by its value 12 and in this other box uh, I have replaced uh, c value by negative 3. And now we can see if we put uh, 3 value for a 3 times 12 is going to give us uh, 36 so therefore our a value turns out to be 3 and now we are going to replace uh, this box b by 6 3 plus 6 uh, indeed gives us uh, 9 so therefore our b value is uh, positive 6 and now finally if i replace uh, d by negative 5 uh, then we can see 6 minus and negative 5 is going to give us uh, positive 11 and likewise uh, 12 plus uh, minus 5 is going to give us uh, 7 indeed. So thus for our first scenario our a value turns out to be 3, b 6, c 12 and d value negative 5. And now let's focus on our this uh, second scenario we got uh, c value as negative 3. So therefore our a value has got to be negative 12. So that uh, negative 12 times negative 3 is going to give us uh, positive 36. And now we can see this a value is negative 12. So therefore b value has got to be positive 21. If we add them that is going to give us uh, 9. And finally if this value is 21 then this uh, d value has got to be positive 10. So that uh, 21 minus 10 is going to give us uh, 11. And likewise uh, negative 3 plus uh, 10 is going to give us uh, 7 indeed. So thus far our uh, second scenario our a value is negative 12, b value is 21, c value is uh, negative 3 and finally d value is 10. And here are our two sets of uh, solutions and both of uh, these solutions are uh, valid. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.